Hello for followers and welcome back to Feed the Beast and we are back here again in my base right here and not too much has happened since the last episode I just kind of cleaned up my base a little bit in here uh, got the step mine began kind of cleaned all this area up and expanded the farm and we've got cotton barley and wheat growing now and uh, I'm harvesting it periodically and it seems to be doing the trick um, now we do have these ores here and I haven't messed with these yet we're gonna mi make an iron pickaxe up and mine them I don't know what they are uh, I left that as it looks interesting to mess around with uh, on camera and also one other thing I did notice is uh, if you put wheat in your crafting grid or barley you actually get flour now what I wanted to do is actually use the the mod here and look up flour and you can uh, see here barley and wheat flour and you can convert these now if I look at the uses of this and I'm gonna press U you can use it in making a cake uh, you can use it with the minium stone or you can smelt it and turn it into bread so that's a lot more efficient than what we were doing previously with uh, crafting bread in the crafting window so we're actually gonna bake bread today uh, which makes a lot of sense honestly I don't know what mod that is part of but it's pretty cool if you ask me so we're gonna get that cooking up and we're gonna get some bread I still haven't figured out what to do with the wild carrots yet uh, we've got some copper here which uh, I haven't messed with either but we'll get to that in today's episode we are gonna go caving but before we do that I do want to get myself the iron pick uh, I need whipped up and we'll mine these ores there we are iron pickaxe Oops. There we go, and that's cooking up nicely. So, let's go over here. And I couldn't mine this with stone, as you can see. I think I've seen this ore before, but I couldn't do anything with it. So, what was that? That is amber. So, let's see what the uses of amber are. Uh, you can make an amber block. A Thaumaturge's backpack. Interesting. They are the only two uses, it seems, of amber. So what's the uses of this, the amber block? Uh, you can make it into... Uh, oh, you can convert it back so it works two ways and you can also make it into amber bricks. Interesting. So I'm going to find out what the uses of amber bricks are. Uh, oh, you can put it back into amber. So it's all interchangeable then, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Um, so now my other question is, can we find out the uses of what this backpack is? So it must be from Thorncraft. Uh, carpenter. Woven Thormaters. Oh, okay. Well, we'll mess with that stuff later. And this right here. Oh, you can mine this. I must have just not mined it. So it gives you XP, which is nice. And it is an air shard. Let's see what uses an air shard has. Again, I haven't messed with any of this stuff. Uh, you can use it to make Wand of the Apprentice, a, uh, a Thormic Aspect Sync module, and an Infusion Altar. Hmm, interesting. So there's quite a bit of stuff to mess around with with that. Wand of the Apprentice, oh, you can use any. And I wonder what it does. Does it say what it can do? <laughs> Doesn't look that way, unfortunately. So we've got those ores out so I can fill this back in and I can hoe this soil as well and uh, let's bake up the rest of our wheat or whatever it is barley that's wheat and I'll get another piece of coal going so we'll get that going in there uh, so now then let me put some things away that I don't need and we are gonna need to sort through some of this stuff because we have a lot of things now so let's make ourselves another chest let's make ourselves a double chest actually this time and we can do that by using the shift click crafting what's going on here oh <laughs> there we are loading up random things so we'll put that down and we'll put the cobblestone in here let's just put all of our blocks in there for right now and items can be in this chest I think that makes a lot of sense, put the iron back away alright so cobblestone put our ores down at the bottom, we've got copper iron 
uh, wood can go there and respective planks wool gravel and dirt I'm gonna want to stack a cobble with me though for going mining and we can put our hoe away as we're not going to need that not gonna need the axe but we are gonna need some other tools I also got a bow off a skeleton by the way and one thing I did want to mess with yep you can make string this way I just wanted to uh, double check that pretty cool stuff all around I uh, don't have many arrows yet um, we have one arrow <laughs> So we're going to have to look into getting some more arrows very soon. We need more coal, that's definite. I'm only going to bring half a stack of wood with me on this occasion. I'm going to put the rest away. Uh, let me see, what else have we got in here that I might need? Not too much, honestly. We're just going to need some more tools. So uh, we'll get a couple more of those whipped up real quick. I'm thinking of making some iron tools now as... We've got quite a bit of iron to spend and we're only going to get more, so I'm going to make myself an iron shovel. I'm going to make myself a... I already have an iron pickaxe, so I don't need that. I'm also going to make myself an iron sword. And I'm going to obviously uh, make a workbench. That's pretty important to bring with. And I'm also going to make a couple furnaces because why not? <laughs> we're going to be going on a long cave and trip I foresee, getting all these different resources. So we'll put that away. We've got a water bucket, which is really important. I'm going to bring half my iron with me. I'm going to put the rest of the cobblestone away. And I think we should be good right now. It's still night time outside. Got a decent amount of bread going. I'm going to take the flesh. Is there anything else that I could eat? It's spider eye. Uh, that does look to be everything, though. So let me just double check to make sure that no more wheat has grown, just in case. Because I would like to bring a decent amount with me if I could. I don't have any bones either, unfortunately, so I can't bone meal anything. So uh, I'll just use a couple planks, I think, to smelt this up. We have those willow planks that I'm probably never going to use for anything else. Oh, you can't use them to smelt. Interesting. Okay. We'll just make some oak then. <laughs> There's a zombie above me. Why am I? Why can't I smell with that? Oh, I I know why. Because I didn't convert it into the flower. It'll go away. That's why we couldn't smell with these. There we go. Be quiet out there. I'm going to sleep in a minute anyway, uh, before we head out. Alright, so while that's cooking up, let's sleep, and then we'll head out and go caving. And that will make our episode today, second episode, there we are. Let's make a couple more sticks, and let's get some coal going. There we go. Whoops. Kind of get everything all organized here before we head out. I'm not going to need an axe or anything. I'm not going to bother dealing with that. Something died. <laughs> oh good, my trees have grown. Ooh, what's that there? A spoils bag. What do you do with it? Do you right click on it? Ooh. Can I take these? And then the spoils bag goes. Interesting. So we have coal coke, a book, rails, thorns, tears, and a force gem. Well, looks like I'm heading back to put these things away. <laughs> Would have been nice to get some arrows off that guy, but uh, interesting. You can get a lot of items then through uh, those spoil bags. So let's see. We don't want these, 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 all that. I'll figure out what they do a little later. I'm not really too interested. Right at this moment, still that creeper around, lingering, lingering around, but I'm going to ignore him for the time being. There's these blue slimes I could kill as well for their loot. Let me see, because they uh, they drop edible food, so it might be worth <laughs> looking into them a little bit, getting some of the. Uh, the blue gunk that they drop. Uh, 
the gelatinous slime. <laughs> oh man, there's some weird and wacky items here, that's for sure. Interesting looking cave that we've got going on here. We've got some copper and some iron. Some, some random stuff there. Sort of leads over into a completely different area. Let's see what we've got down here. Multiple routes. I'll probably come back here later. Um, I'm looking for a cave where I can get down deep. But we'll mine this copper while we're here. And there's some of that amber stuff again, which we can grab. And what's this? Let's mine this up. You can mine it with stone. It's Certus Quartz. Nice. I don't know what that does, but I imagine that it's pretty useful. And we'll mine up this iron here too. Get lots of resources going, which is going to be really handy for moving on. Oh, look, more of that quartzy stuff. <laughs> That's all I uh, know that it is at the moment quartzy stuff. In the vein of that. There we are. That waypoint is so handy. Really, really is. Just knowing where you're going. Especially with all the cave systems and everything can be really useful. Probably set a couple more waypoints underground as we go caving. Because I probably am going to do some off camera and it's probably going to be quite a big long term caving trip to get a good amount of supplies going. So that we can uh, in the next episode probably start a mess with some of the modded stuff. Um, I've got the bees to look at still. And uh, I want to start getting into building some machines and getting some automation going. More of that amber stuff. And we've got some more coal there, so we'll snag that real quick. Let me see. Got lots and lots of coal. I'm just going to use up these stone picks and I'll probably move on to the iron one. We are. I probably will eventually start a branch mine, but for right now, caving is probably the best way of me getting resources right now at this moment. So uh, let's head back outside and see if we can find a cave that goes a little bit deeper. We definitely know that that is there, and I will keep that in mind for when I go caving, but for right now, I'm looking for something a bit more useful to me right now. Zombie flesh. Uh, it's definitely a lot of sheep around with hats on. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to mess with those though. A little bit of iron there. Let's see what's going on. Some interesting little caves here, I have to say. Ah, now then, this looks more like what I'm interested in right here. I know what that is there. Getting lag all of a sudden. Not sure why. Ah, this goes back up and out. We'll just uh, complete the loop and light everything up. What have we got down here? Not much, just some iron. Beginning to get a bit of lag for some reason. I'm not sure why. Beginning to uh, jam up a little bit. I mean, my FPS is fine, but it just seems a little jerky for some reason. Maybe because there's a lot going on, maybe there's a lot rendering in or something. Who knows? But it's not doing too bad right now. A lot more ores that we can snag. Definitely a good idea going caving early on. There's so much copper and iron that I can grab. I haven't done too much research into the copper, but I know that it's probably used in a lot of things, and I think we're going to need it pretty early on. So uh, we'll get that going. What's this stuff right here? Tin. I imagine tin is going to be pretty useful too. Combine it with stone, so that's always good. 
get this coal up here as well. It's kind of like a methodical procedure, extracting all the many ores that are in these cave systems. Way more than you get in vanilla, that's for sure. Particularly this high. I think it makes mining more fun. Gives you more of a surprise as to what you're going to see. And now we are onto the iron pick, which is fine. A little bit of iron there, and we'll get a little bit here. So much iron. <laughs> so much iron. There we are, and that bit there too. So we've got this stuff, I'm not sure what this is. I'm hearing zombies. It is monazite, or monazite, or... There's a bat. Well, I think there's things up there that probably want to kill me, so... Let's back up a little bit. Oh, they're up there. Okay. Probably should clear that out. I'm just going to back up a little bit and make some more torches. And we'll get that area lit up. We've got 52 torches. That should be plenty. Still some iron in the wall there that I, for some reason, missed. Ah, uh, there he is. You down there, bud? Now they're probably going to call all the other zombies in the area. Was that in this version? I can't remember, honestly, whether it was or not. May have been 1.6, but I know that they definitely did get buffed in 1.5, for sure. Even more copper. So we'll get this going. How much copper do we have? 17. Two, not too bad. We've got 35 iron and three of that monazite ore stuff. One thing I was surprised, I was doing a little bit of research into this stuff, but no mod in this mod pack adds a coal block. You would think that really somebody would have added a coal block, but I know it's in the vanilla game for 1.6, but we are on 1.5 right now in this mod pack, so we don't have a coal block, which is kind of a pain, but there we go. I was surprised at that. I really was. I thought that somebody would have taken the initiative on that one and added a coal block. Probably people thought it was just too simple to add, <laughs> thinking someone else was going to do it. Got a sheep down here and many more ways to explore. Which could be good, could be bad, depending on how you look at it. But I'm just going to get these areas kind of lit up. Is it becoming night time already? Man, yeah, look at that. We're going to have to get underground then, because if it's getting to be towards night time, I don't want to be up here at night. I did not make any armor. <laughs> I will probably have to stop off and do that. I thought I did. Then again, I did bring all that iron with me, so it's not too much of a problem to do that. So uh, we'll get this stuff. What's this? Fire shard? Oh, it's kind of like elements type deals then. There's that skeleton. Don't think that did too much damage to him, honestly. Let's have some tactics. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, they're infighting. Cat in the hat. Nice. Another skeleton? And another skeleton? Man, there must be something around here, surely. Maybe a dungeon of some sort? Ooh, what did he drop? A spoils bag. We need to take a look in that. Let's take a look in this spoils bag and see what we've got. Ooh, look at that. Iron chest plate, bread, coal, melon seeds, and a thormium ingot. Ooh, okay, so now we have melons. I was not expecting to get access to melons this early. Well, we've kind of got a little area here, so why don't we get a, a little way station set up. And uh, I'm going to make myself the rest of my armor. That was pretty handy, just to run into uh, an iron chest plate like that. So mobs are definitely worth fighting if you can get those spoils bags, because they could drop a wide range of loot, it seems. 
Building a dark room is probably going to be one of the things I'm going to do in this series very quickly. Because you can just get so many supplies off the different monsters. The challenge, though, lies in the fact of dealing with the different mobs that you get on top of everything else that's in vanilla. Because, like, we have those angry zombies to deal with, the blue slimes. So that's going to be a challenge. What ore is this? Aluminium. Again, probably going to be pretty useful. That stuff is cinnabar ore. A claw. I don't know where I got that. <laughs> got some bones and some arrows now. I'll take that. So we're already getting pretty full up on stuff, honestly. Which is not a good thing. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on that and probably head back towards wherever base is. Which is not too far away, honestly, before going deeper. Let's see here. Because we are actually out of inventory room, but I could toss out some things that I don't want, like gravel. That'll be better. So I'm guessing this is more tin. Yeah. So I'm going to get some more tin going. There we are. Didn't light this up very well. Get a little bit more coal going here too. There we are. I hear another skelly. Sounds like it's right through the wall. Sure sounds like there's a lot of them. Maybe down? I don't see much. to them soon enough I'm sure. We'll snag those though, force gems. I'm gonna try and plug this water too. Maybe they're up here. No? Oops. <laughs> Cannot climb today it seems. Not through water at least. More coal there. That definitely goes down deeper right there. Let's get rid of that water. There's plenty of coal to gather, so I'm going to gather that. And I think probably the next step is actually to go back to base camp because I'm getting full up of resources already. Oh, it's just a sheep. <laughs> I turned around and I was a bit nervous there. And uh, we'll probably continue caving after that because there's still so much to gather. We haven't even gotten very deep yet. And there's just all these supplies just to gather. So probably what I'll do is I'll probably do a little bit of exploring on my own off camera. Yeah, we're full up already. I'm going to make myself a little box <laughs> while I make some torches. Uh, let me see here. Get, get out of my inventory, piece of coal. <laughs> make a bunch of sticks here and we'll get a bunch of torches going if we can. Put that coal back and I'm not sure what we're going to do with the sticks yet. Sounds like a lot of mobs. Can't pick up any of this iron. I'm going to have to toss some things out I think. Because I can't put anything on. Should have left that stuff in the spoils bag <laughs> until we got back. Um, spider eye, we could ditch that, I think. So I'm going to get full up pretty quickly. I'm going to have to bear that in mind when exploring in these caves. Oh, hey, Skelly. The chest hat we unlocked there. Can't wait to see what horrors lie for me up here. Oh, God! Oh god! <laughs> Full iron zombie! Oh my gosh. 
And I have no weapon. Now I do. Oh, get out of the way. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, where am I now? Oh, no. Get out of here, Enderman. I will seek safety in water. <laughs> Phew, that was a close one. So many monsters. You, get out of here. You're the biggest threat to me right now. I don't know how I lived through that one, but this place is dangerous at night. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have come outside. I don't know where that Enderman died. Or if he dropped a pearl at all. Ow. Goodness gracious. Does that guy have anything enchanted on, or is he just... He has a stone sword. Maybe monsters are just more powerful in this than I thought. <laughs> what is up with that sheep? Oh god. <laughs> That's not good. It's this ender dude here which I would like to try and kill, see if I can get his pearl. <coughs> go. No pearl. Never mind. The sun is coming up too, so that's good. But man, I was not expecting to run into one of those guys. Full iron armor? Man, that is not what I wanted to see. Seems quiet over here compared to what we just had to put up with. There's a couple of mobs around. I've, I've seen plenty of you guys. Chain armor before. Oh, now I've got a blue slime to contend with. <laughs> oh boy, everything wants to kill me today. I'm worried that I'm going to crash because I'm seeing lots of severe errors in the console behind me, so it's probably a good time to be getting back to base as well. Um, kind of worries me a little bit what's going on here. Alright, so back at base. Phew, after a little cave and trip. So I need to kind of sort through these supplies, probably get some things cooking up, and then I'm probably going to go back and do a little bit of exploration just around those upper caves, clear everything out, get the remainder of those resources, and then we'll probably come back and go a bit deeper underground and try and search for some diamonds, uh, redstone gold, that kind of thing. So I will be right back, guys. Okay guys, so I'm back here, and I've kind of resupplied and reorganized all my stuff. And we're about to head a bit deeper into this cave system. I've spent quite a while mining out the different ores and resources that have been scattered throughout these caves. And we've got quite a bit of stuff going now. I'm looking forward to actually being able to use it soon. So, let me see here. We don't need the gelatinous slime right now. I do want to block up that water though. So that I can kind of venture deeper down into this cave system. And see what we got. So I'm seeing a lot of monsters are now on my mini-map. So let us see here. Start with this path. There's some weird things down here. The, the deeper you get. I see a zombie. I did hear a creeper take a damage, so hopefully he's not too nearby. There's an angry zombie somewhere. Maybe he's above us. Oh, I bet he's below us. That's where he is. There he is. And a creeper. Everybody's favorite. So much redstone down here. Let's get rid of him at least. I'm gonna have to make a little staircase down. 
Why can I not place that there? Oh, is it because you're there? Alright, then, in that case, then we will have to slightly tweak how we're going to do this. I wish I could get him with my sword and kind of jab him. But looks like we're going to have to go down this side. Come here, buddy. There's another zombie there. Let's take care of him. And I'm gonna want to block off that other pathway. There's another angry zombie. So many zombies. He already took damage from some source. Okay, so I'm gonna narrow the ways that these guys could come at me from. I hear skellies, which is not fun. Plenty of lava about. I'm not too bothered about collecting resources at the moment. I just want to get a perimeter of light established around here. It would be nice to find some diamonds. Is that diamonds? No. I don't know what that is. Very interesting ores and minerals down here, that's for sure. Mm. Hey, dude. Bye, dude. Oh, and another one. Where's that guy? There he is. This is a big cave. There's a lot here. Seeing lots of different ores. Yeah, this place is massive. Really big. Oh, diamond. Hello. I'll mine those up in a minute. Alrighty, so... Where's that skelly? He's around somewhere. I hear him. Ow. Oh, that up there doesn't look fun. Let's take care of that before it kills me. <laughs> seeing this green stuff. Maybe that's, I think that that's uranium if I recall correctly. Anything down here? Some gold. Any monsters? And by the way, I did run into a dungeon. We'll check that out before we end the episode off. Uh, near the surface actually, right at the end of just a small little cave. But uh, yeah, so we've got a dungeon now. We can start and collect XP if we want to. So much gold down here. Oh, good. This is uh, what was up here. So we've kind of done a loop of everything. There's a skelly. There we go. So we're taking care of him. Let's kind of lighten up the different areas that potentially could be a hazard. <laughs> so, let me see. What do we got? That's where the water was coming down from. There's this stuff that looks like emerald, but it's not. It's like an off-colored emerald. So, I'll have to see what that is. I'm going to start and mine some of this stuff. What's this again? Tin. Okay. So, we'll mine tin. I think tin is going to be pretty useful in building machines, so... Want to get a lot of tin if we can, and copper, and I imagine that probably gold and certainly redstone are going to be used as well, and diamonds obviously because diamonds are awesome and great to have for tools, and probably used in some machines too, probably some more valuable machines. I uh, don't know what this is. Oh yeah, that's the force gems, right? There we go. So we'll get those can't mine that with that, but I can mine it with this. Uh, period. Up. Interesting. Large gold vein here. I've seen lots of gold, so it must be more common. But I imagine gold is probably used in machines, as it's not used a lot in vanilla, so maybe people had the idea of giving gold more of a use, which would be awesome if that is the case. More iron. And some of those shards as well. 
hope I don't get full of all ores again like I did last time while I'm down here. I'm trying to get rid of this pick too. Yep, we're already, already nearing getting full here. So I'll have to move the iron pick in now. And start collecting more resources. I don't know what these force gems are used for yet. More monazite. There's a small vein of that. Oh, hey. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that is not good at all. Not, not with the creeper there. I can take you now. So another dungeon. Look at that. What do we got in terms of loot? Logic matrix programmer iron ingot bucket and copper. All right. Well, I'm thinking of actually making a little way station right here because we don't have a lot of. A room in our inventory and it would be nice to store some stuff and I can set a waypoint here too. Uh, so that may be worthwhile doing. Let's get our equipment down. It's <laughs> not what I wanted to do. Put you there and the crafting bench. And let's make a little bit of oak wood to make a chest. Start and get some things down in here. Ores and things that we uh, don't really need. Gold. Bones. I do want the arrows though. Dirt. Monazite. All this stuff. There's a chest over there too if we need it. Okay, so let's continue mining up this. I don't know if you can build tools out of that or not. Um, I don't know if you can build tools out of any of these new ores. And we might be worth checking that out because it might be a little better than iron use. Takes a bit of time to load, I have to say. You can make a block out of it. You can make something with endstone and appetite. No, you can't make tools from it. Does it show me the different types of tools I can make? I can make quartz, which looks to be a bit better than gold. I wonder if that's made from nether quartz. Oh, you can build it from Certus Quartz, too. Interesting. So you can build a, uh, a Quartz pick. Uh, force. I'm guessing that's Force Ingots. Made from Force Nuggets. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to experiment to see if I've got anything with me that's usable. Um, do I have any of that? No, I don't have any of that on me. But if we run into some, I may make one of those. We'll see how useful it is. So what's this stuff right here? I don't think we've got any of this before. Lead. Ah, okay, so we've got lead. And silver. Ooh, silver. You would think you could make pickaxes from silver. Surely. What's silver used for? It's going to show me how to smelt it up into a sil silver ingot, which is fine. Block of silver. Apparently not, but it is used in the construction of some machines though, which makes a lot of sense. Right, so we've got silver and lead. <laughs> We're going to have so many different things to mess with when I get back to base, uh, with all these different ores and how they behave and function. Not only on their own, but with each other too, so that's always good. And these right here, I believe these are ore berry bushes. Yeah, that one's for tin specifically. Uh, we've got a water bucket, so we can kind of plop this down here. Oops. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Always worth kind of checking out what's nearby. Particularly around lava, as you can find diamonds this way. Speaking of diamonds, we do need to get that other load of diamonds we didn't get before. Doesn't look as if there's too much, though, this way. I 
I now collect a lot of these resources off camera. I'm not going to spend all of my time on camera just collecting resources. That's pretty boring. Let's get a couple more torches going. It's not many, but it'll do. We've got redstone here. Oh, look at that. There's more diamonds there and I didn't even notice. Uh, can we... Can we plug this? Because this is not good right here. In fact, have I even been up here yet? Oh yeah. Yeah, I've been up here. Not all the way up, though. Oh, it comes from here. I hear a sheep. <laughs> That's interesting. We shouldn't be running into sheep this low. It's... Y28. Man, this is a long waterfall. Where did this come from? Right here? Jeez, this is a long way for just one water source block. There's the sheep. I don't know how he got down here. But there's the sheep. Uh, some interesting all the roars around. I guess we'll go back down though now and I'll grab those diamonds. That's that zombie gun. How many in this vein? Achievement get diamonds. Ooh, that was lucky. Right above a lava pit. That's not good. Now where was those other diamonds? They were around here somewhere. Ah! <laughs> oh man. The angry zombie. Ah! <laughs> so many angry zombies. Jeez. Oh, great. You're exactly what I want to see. Hey, zombie head. Can't the monsters just leave me alone? Yeah, there's there was those diamonds. See how big a vein we got here. I hear things are moving. <laughs> it's worrying me, especially when I'm near diamonds. Ten. That's reasonable. That was obviously a combination of both veins. That was a vein of eight, because the first vein we ran into was a vein of two. But still, pretty good going, honestly. Now I'll be able to while I'm down here, make up a diamond pick and get some obsidian, then we can get an enchantment table going. And that kind of leads into what we need to do next episode now, and getting an enchanter. So much redstone. Real huge volumes of resources down here to collect. I'm going to be at this a while, for sure. Well, nothing seems to be coming for me for the moment. Keeping an eye on that mini map up there, it's very handy to see where the mobs are at. We are out of torches again. So let's make a couple more. But just so many ores and so many different things to collect. I mean, at the moment, I don't know what is useful and what isn't. So I'm just kind of collecting everything. There's probably some ores I'm mining up which are probably totally useless. I don't know. Um, we'll just have to wait and see on that. There we are. There we go. Got more redstone to mine. Oh, and good coal. That's going to be perfect. As we need coal really badly. But I don't have to get all this stuff out of here right now. I can keep coming back here and keep mining, keep gathering resources over a period of time so I don't have to worry too much about getting it all just at this moment. So I'm going to keep on collecting here and I'll probably uh, meet you back at the main base once I've collected some of these resources. Probably done a little bit more exploring too. Uh, we got diamonds which is a... oh look at that! More diamond! We'll get these first. Uh, make sure there's no more, doesn't look like it though. 
I wonder how many diamonds I'll end up leaving here with. This rate we'll have a stack. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to work on collecting some of these resources, guys, and I will once again be back with you probably at the base. Okay, guys, so I've been doing a whole lot more mining, and I've gotten plenty of supplies, so let's take a look. So this is my total haul so far, and uh, there's still a lot of stuff down here, but honestly, I've gotten to the point now where I think that I'm going to stop mining for now, and I can keep coming back here and mining as and when I need more supplies, because I've got, what, now... Nine, almost nine stacks of iron, two and a bit stacks of gold, I've got over a stack of silver and tin, almost a stack of lead, not too much aluminium, decent amount of monazite, uh, some cinnabar ore, not much ferrous ore, 21 copper, I got a silk touch book from a dungeon which I think is pretty cool, we're going to put that on shears uh, so that we can have infinite grass and things like that. Uh, lots of these shards, force gems, a lapis, 44 diamonds, that's probably a nice haul. Uh, some of this uh, peridot stuff, um, and lots and lots of redstone. And in here is kind of everything else that I've picked up throughout my, uh, my quest. And I'm going to take some of these things back with me that I think are going to be useful. Uh, the carrot, definitely. The bones, gunpowder. I have plenty of melons back at base, so I'm not going to worry too much about those. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer all of this stuff back to the main base, and then we'll probably wrap the episode up there because I think we've done enough for today's episode. I'll probably from time to time keep caving in this area. Uh, there's still lots and lots of resources to get here. I've barely even broken into you know, the, the bigger cave system that this area has to offer so it's going to be great to have a place to come back for if we need more iron or more gold more silver tin things like that so I'm going to start transferring all this stuff and also on the way back we will take a look at the dungeon as well that we found so uh, yeah let's head up here and let's take a tour of that dungeon. We're going to build an XP farm there, I think. That's one of the next things that we need to do. I do need to make a diamond pick and grab some obsidian, but I'm going to do that off camera uh, before the next episode. I think next episode the plan is going to be to get some basic farms set up, things like that, because um, that's kind of the only thing that we need to do now, and then we can actually get into more Feed the Beast stuff, and we can actually mess around with some more modded type things. So here's the dungeon, right here. Pretty close to the surface. I think that, you know, it's maybe one or two blocks away. Nothing overly worth jumping around for. Maybe this. I don't know what this is. Um, uh, a division sigil. I don't know what that is, honestly. So maybe there's some cool stuff in there, but nothing strikes it out to me as amazingly useful. But we'll have to see on that. I don't know what all you can do and what you can't do with dungeon loot uh, in this mod pack so we'll just have to kinda wait on that uh, but yeah it's nice to have an area where I can actually keep going and getting resources and supplies uh, so next episode we'll be setting up farms probably dealing with stuff in here as well uh, all that sort of thing uh, we'll look at next episode in preparation for starting with uh, modded stuff more and I'm thinking what I want to do is the first thing I want to get into is actually build craft and get a quarry going. That looks to be the the best thing to do for me at this point. But we'll have to see on that. So we've got some tin. So much iron. Uh, which uh, we'll have to do something with. Decent amount of gold here as well. And we've got a good amount of silver. And again, I don't know what all of this stuff does yet, so we're going to have to kind of figure that out as we go along, really. Shards of minium, slime balls, zombie brains, bones. And uh, also, I did uh, hunt a uh, armored mob, and he dropped these boots. It was a zombie. Fire protection 2 and haste 1. I don't know exactly what haste does yet. I don't know if it speeds you up. That would seem like the logical thing, but I'm a bit confused as to what it actually does. I'm going to get that carrot planted, and I'm going to... I don't know, let me see here, let's get some bone meal and I'm gonna crow some more of these crops and bake me some more bread. <laughs> because I need more bread, always need more bread. There we go. And uh, we'll harvest this. 
And I'm going to continue ferrying over the last of the items. Probably got another two trips to go. I'm going to bring all the stuff back from that dungeon as well. So next episode, again, is probably going to be a little on the menial side. Setting up a probably a monster spawner trap. Getting farms going. Things of that nature. Uh, probably get up some animal pens. I might even clean up my base a little bit here too. Because it's, it's not the best. I think I need some sort of... I might build a, a structure on top of it and then have a ladder well down here to the sort of internal guts of my base and keep this as a back door. I think that might be the the best thing to do at the moment. But again, we'll have to see on that. So I'm going to put this cobblestone away. Uh, do I have any of that stuff? No, but I will uh, cook me up some more bread. And there's still lots and lots of coal around too, so I'm not going to be worrying about running out of coal anytime soon. I am going to need to deal with storage a little better though, and we'll probably look into that next episode as we are beginning to get quite full of uh, various different things. So we'll have to uh, see on how best to improve storage. I have read about a uh, chests mod which makes you uh, able to get bigger chests. I believe it's called the iron chests mod. So I'll have to do a little bit of research into that and see how it all works and how I can actually expand my chests and how much stuff I could fit into a certain area. Uh, so let me see, we're going to continue gathering up the supplies and I think we'll call it an episode here guys because there's no reason for me to come back. I'm just going to be transferring these items over and then in the next episode we will start work on building some farms and things like that. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. It's been a lot of fun going caving and kind of gathering some new resources. So hopefully I'll see you next time when we will continue on and we'll probably build a spawner trap and get some farms going. So until then guys, see you later and have a good day.